In this video, we will continue with equations involving absolute values. You will find this on page 368 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Solve the equations, this. Okay, and now there's a variable also on this side. So, and I, I just want to say this. Always check your answers, especially when the equation has a variable on both sides. So there, that's not in the absolute value part. So let's start. We do exactly the same. We make one side equal positive and the other side we make negative. And just put negative in a bracket and then solve your two equations. Then you get x is 3 and x is negative 1. But now this is very important that you substitute it. This one works. If you substitute this one, you get 10 is equal to negative 10. So this can never become negative 10. So there's only one solution and that will be equal to 3. So very, very important that you test or check your answers. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number B as well as number D. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so let's start with number B. Just going to write it down. So 2 plus 3x is equal to 5 plus 4. So basically, and again, I see the variable on this side, so be very careful with the solutions. You have to check it. But let's get our two options. So it's 2 plus 3x. This is first your positive option. You don't have to put a bracket. You just know. And then your negative op option. You must put that bracket. Okay, so basically, now let's first solve this one. So I get 2, okay, let's just take the 3x, bring the 4x over, take the 5, bring that one over. So it's negative 1x is equal to 3, divide negative 1, divide negative 1, so x is equal to negative 3. Or, let's do this one, 2 plus 3x, multiply that in, so it's negative 5, negative 4x, so this is going to be 3x plus 4x, and that's negative 5 and minus 2, so this, this is going to be 7x, it's negative 7, I divide 7, divide 7, so therefore x is negative 1. Now I do my check. So if I do my check, I'm just going to rewrite and in the place I substitute negative 3. So 2 plus 3, negative 3 is equal to 5 plus 4, negative 3. So this is going to be 2 minus 9 and this is going to be 5 minus 12. So this is going to be negative 7 and this is going to be also negative 7. Okay, so let's just uh, simplify this. This is going to be negative 7. So therefore, oh, this is the problem. This negative 7 is going to become positive 7 if I take it out of the bars and that is not equal to negative 7. So unfortunately, no solution. I will now rewrite it. Now if I do the other one, um, and basically you can just do it on the side also here, it's just my space. Let's just do it here. And if I check this one, it's going to be, and now it's going to be 2 plus 3, and now I substitute the negative 1, close the bar, is equal to 5, and I substitute it here. 
And then it's going to be 2 minus 3, so it's negative 1 in the bars. And this is 5 minus 4, it's 1. And then 1 is equal to 1. So this one, very important. So therefore, the only solution is, and that is x is equal to negative 1. Very important that you check your solutions. Okay, let's do number D. Let's just make space. And then I do number D. Okay, so number D. So this is going to be 2x plus 7, and this is going to be x minus 4. Okay. And now I start. Remember, there's a variable again, so I start with my two options. First, my positive option, or 2x plus 7, and I put a negative x minus 4. And then it's going to be 2x minus x equals negative 4, negative 7. So x is equal to negative 11. Or, okay, 2x plus 7 is equal to negative x plus 4. So 2x plus x is equal to 4 minus 7. So 3x is equal to negative 3, and I get x is equal to negative 1. But don't forget to check. So write your original, so it's 2x plus 7. Okay. I could have already put it in, so let's just put it in, sorry. Okay. So it's negative 11. Plus 7, close the bar, equals negative 11 minus 4. So this is going to be negative 22 plus 7, and that is going to be negative 50. And then, oh, what's the problem? I get negative 15, but that becomes positive 15. It's not equal to negative 15. No solution. Then I do exactly the same with the other one. And I'm st starting again with my bars. And make sure that you see it's the bar. So it's 2, and then it's negative 1, plus 7, those. And that's going to be negative 1 minus 4. And now it's going to be negative 2, plus 7, and that's negative 5. And that is going to be 5. Oh, and that's already my problem, because 5 is not equal to negative 5. And again, it's not a solution, so it can happen. So therefore, no solutions. So it, there can be two solutions, there can be one solution, but there can even be no solutions.